Where's your pitboard? I don't know, I lost it. Great trainer. <laughs> <laughs> so fit. Good. That actually tastes like cookies. Yeah. My one vice, my one sweet. Are right, we training kids today? What are we doing? Yeah. So we got our first um, patrol training evening session, 4 to 6 p.m. on Wednesday. We're going to give her a try. Uh, we have a top track up on top here at Spring Creek Motocross, a top track on top. And, uh, top, top, top. Yeah, we got some troll training athletes and some kids that have reached out to me to looking for some training and should be fun. This guy, Brand SB, actually used to ride and train and hang out with his brother Eric SB about 15 years ago. But it should be fun. Been up there today prepping it with uh, the tractor, the dozer, the skid steer, and the chainsaw. Jesus. And we also have a water truck now. Courtesy, where did it come from? Uh, Cali? Troll training. <laughs> Patrol training bought it, but it came from California. Yeah. You guys never ridden here before? Nope. Oh, you have? Cool. All right. Yeah, so everybody's here. Um, we're gonna do about a. 15 minute warm up just to break the track in, break the lines in. It's over there, there's a couple corners that are pretty muddy, so just be careful. It's all tilled, but it's, it's definitely a little soft over there. There was puddles yesterday. Um, there might be one kind of like stick, bigger stick coming up that hill. So just first lap, just be aware, keep your eyes open. But let's just break the track in, get some lines, um, and have fun. <music> Prep a track, bro. Not bad. So we were up here mowing it for about two hours yesterday. Chainsaw I was trimming all the tree branches. It's opened it up quite a bit. But my brother and I have spent a lot of time riding up here over the years. Actually, even the Dunge. Ryan Dunge used to come up here and do 40 minute motos. Brandon. It's alright. Pretty good. I thought like call you Eric one. Is it a little muddy over there? A little bit. Yeah. So what do you guys think of the in the far back there? I go left down the hill. I just put that in yesterday. Is it kind of cool? Coming back up over the hill? Yeah. I was trying to open it up a little bit and give you more elevation. Yeah. 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 Is there a stick over there? Like a big log? Yep. I hit it like every lap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go move it. Alright. Do you guys want to top off with gas or anything? Did anybody bring a water? Sure. Yeah, yeah. That's like a yes or no question. <laughs> All right, let's go get some gas here. Grady, did your dad go down to get some water? Gas. Oh, gas. Okay. Are you good on gas right now, though? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, we're all warmed up. Uh, we're going to start with some three lappers. We're going to do four three lappers. Um, so each time you're on the track, there's a couple things I'm picking up just from watching you guys in your warm-up. Um, for starters, Landon, Tyler, even you a little bit, Grady. So a corner like this, where it's smooth, there's no breaking bumps yet, you can sit down all the way through this. So right now you guys are sitting down, stand up a little bit, sit down, stand up a little bit, and then sit down. So this is a corner where just, just keep it sitting down, leg out, and really focus on smooth, steady throttle. So typically, when it's really rough, obviously you want to stand because your, your legs are going to be like suspension, extra suspension. Um, but since it's smooth right there, you really don't have to worry about it. Um, and really focusing on throttle control as well. So like through these sweeper sections right here, think about how much you're on and off the throttle. You really want to be, especially with how it's burning today, really be on the throttle, smooth and steady. Mm -hmm. Right on. 
ride hard, but I want you guys to really keep in the back of your mind techniques, the fundamentals. Um, but just by default, trying to be on the gas to where these these cones are going to be, you're going to be riding a little bit harder because you'll you'll find yourself that like, you're letting off earlier than you think you guys are. Uh, let's go. Dad mode this, huh? Huh? Your dad mode this, huh? No, this is all me. Look at that. With a push mower? At the deck height at a four. And uh, I'm actually surprised the lawnmower made it through. I had a lot of dirt clumps. Both let it, or held it on like 20 feet farther, right there, going down that straightaway. Nice job, Grady. Some good intensity down that straightaway. Yes, sir. Uh, one thing I saw with you, Grady, and a few of you guys were doing this, but when you come on, get on the gas in the corner, sometimes your body goes back a little bit. So that's where it really make sure you're, you're keeping up forward with your head over the handlebars. But that was good. Heck yeah. You guys are really quiet with the camera out. Don't worry about this. We're just doing it for fun. Grady, give me one thing. What? One thing you want to work on this next session. Three lapper. Uh, standing up. <laughs> That's. I told you not to stand up over here. <laughs> what about elbows? Uh, elbows over the... Elbows up. Head over the handlebars. Yeah. Alright, landing. One thing you want to work on. Corner entry speed. Corner entry speed. Alright, okay. Tyler? Uh, rolling on the throttle. Good, yeah, that was a good one. No rear brake. No rear brake, yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm like a giraffe on my rollerblades. Um, no, it's going to make you feel badly. Either, but no, just sitting down through there. And honestly, it's going to save you energy. Um, like I was telling your dad, it's a good quality to like want to stand up, like on a rough track or like sand rollers. That's a good quality. But when it's smooth like this, it's definitely better sitting down. Goldsrain.com. <laughs> All right, another three lapper. Keep working on that stuff. thing you're looking for when you're watching that? Well, so this is a newer section that I just put in and they're all kind of have a tendency to come in pretty tight uh, but then they're kind of sweeping really outside and then they kind of have to chicane back. So I'm going to see if we can maybe make a line where we kind of set up a little bit farther outside but then we cut inside and it's a more direct. Yeah, try coming out here and actually Brandon, let's maybe have you go through here a couple times. I'm wondering if you could turn right here. A little so don't follow the berm turn a little earlier okay and like literally aim for like where briar's at yeah so landing because i noticed you're kind of having a tough time passing so this is a good situation to where if the main line is a lot of people going inside and then they're fading out being patient over here and taking kind of like open up, opening up your peripheral vision and going outside allows you to set it up and then maybe you're giving up a little time here but then you're passing up here. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So count to 15 and then go. So we'll give a little bit more of a gap since we're doing a longer moto. Um, but really work on all the stuff we were talking about in those three lappers. Elbows up, head over the front, charging intensity down the straightaways. Just have fun out there. You couldn't do 15 minutes right now? <sighs> you probably could actually. I rode the other day for the first time in seven months and I felt amazing. Yeah? Yeah. I was really sore the next day.
Brandon. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. No arm pump? No arm pump. Damn. That's nice. Yeah, I'm uh, completely out of front brake. Nice. Back brake only. Back brake only. Yeah, got the sickest numbers here. You dragging bar? Almost. Kind of had a little bigger there. Yeah. <laughs> you just push the front end over here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a solid, uh, it's about, I, I left you out there a little longer for extra credit. It's about 16, 17 minutes. All right, fellas. Well, thanks for making it out to the first Wednesday night troll training group session for once you're tall <laughs> ketones are a powerful macronutrient with clinically studied benefits with ketone iq you can feel your best at any time with a boost of awesome feeling energy and clarity unlock the power of nature's super fuel no fasting or keto diet required if you're looking for stable energy ketones are 28 percent more efficient as a fuel than glucose alone plus they don't cause sugar crashes or insulin spikes helping maintain smoother more stable energy levels. If you're looking for focus, ketones can cross the blood-brain barrier and act as fuel for the brain, helping you achieve and sustain peak mental clarity. If you're looking for athletic performance, ketones can help spare glycogen, prevent bonking, and support muscle protein resynthesis for faster recovery.